for many reasons, the Holy Spirit seems to be emphasizing gospel proclamation in our day. This may be because the church in many ways got away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the best news of all. That's what the word gospel means, that Jesus was crucified, buried, but came alive. He died for our sins that we might be forgiven of our sins. If we receive that, believe that, then we are saved in a relationship with him to be kept safe for eternity, not just as spirits, but as real people. But I mentioned as we're going through 1 Thessalonians that the Thessalonians asked questions about the last days after Jesus had been proclaimed, the crucified ones, to the Thessalonians. Why did they have questions of the last days if Paul proclaimed the gospel? Well, in looking at the different verses that Paul could have used, all the crucifixion prophecies in the Old Testament, I discovered that every single one includes the restoration of Israel, the last days. For instance, in Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus said that on the cross. It finishes in Psalm 22 with saying, all the ends of the earth remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations will bow before him. That's why the disciples asked Jesus, are you going to restore your kingdom as he was ascending to heaven? It's very important right now as we proclaim the gospel that we also pay attention to what the prophets said about the last days and look at current events. We cannot help but think the appearing of Jesus Christ could be sooner than we think.